Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing fine. This is chemistry. In this lesson, we want to look at this question on the board. The question is coming from 2021 grade 12, chemistry paper 2, section B, question number B5. This is science 5124, ladies and gentlemen. The question, the pH scale is used to indicate how acidic or alkaline a solution is. Some numbers from the pH scale are given in the following list. So we have been provided with numbers here, 1, 3, 7, 12, and 14. The first part, what type of solution would have been, would have a pH of 1? B, which pH value from the above list would be for Roman numeral 1, lime water, 2, pure water, 3, vinegar. C says, what would be the color of a solution with pH value of 14 when tested with the universal indicator? The question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from a topic called acids, bases, and sorts. So we want to understand how to go about it. Please pay attention. The first thing that we want to know is the pH scale. What is this scale? Now from the information that has been provided, it is very easy to understand pH scale. This is the measure or the scale that indicates how acidic or alkaline it the substance or solution is we have different solutions right so we would want to know if this solution that we have or if this substance that we have is falling under acid or base this is what we want to understand okay this scale ladies and gentlemen ranges from 0 up to 14 this is the way the scale is. The middle number here, which is what? Seven, indicates neutral. So seven is neutral. It means it is neither acidic, this side is acidic, then on the other side is alkaline. Alkaline, okay? Seven here is neutral from one to six one to six is acidic eight to fourteen is alkalinity i hope we are together with that information now you also need to understand that we have weak and strong acids we also have weak and strong base or alkaline with that in mind the smaller the number here under acid the smaller the number meaning one two it indicates strong acids so one is the strongest acid like this substance hydrochloric acid this is strongest acid strong acid two still strong acid for example stomach acid that is two then we have five four five six that one indicates weak acids okay that is weak acid. The information I've given you here is opposite on the other side. Here, strong alkaline are those near or equal to 14, meaning 12, 13, 14. Those are strong bases or alkaline. Then 8, 9, that indicates weak Best. That is the scale. 
the next question that we'd want to ask here is well the scale indicates those numbers what and but how do you measure the scale value or pH value of that substance or solution to measure we use what we call pH pH stands for potential of hydrogen so we can use pH meter okay we can also use what we call acid base indicator that can also be used that is what we use when measuring the value of a substance let's get back to the questions here what type of solution would have a pH value of 1? I've already explained here. pH value of 1 indicates strong acid. So that is the solution. So you should say strong here. Simply say strong acid. That is the correct answer. Then we move on. Which pH value from the above list from here, which pH value would be for lime water? You need to know that lime water is a strong base. Lime water is calcium hydroxide. Okay? Calcium hydroxide. That is lime water. Calcium hydroxide. Written like this. So this falls between 12.4 to 14. That is lime water. So from the list that has been provided here, you can go for 14 you can go for 14 as the correct answer pure water from the word itself pure water this is neutral so pure water is neutral it indicates seven that is distilled water but when you get water from the tap you'll find that it will give you seven point something maybe seven point four Okay, 7.4. Why is it like that? Because of some um, particles that may be in that tap water. So it's not pure water. Even when you buy water, please check the pH scale. It's always written on that huh? so that you understand where it falls. Okay. Blood, if I may ask you, blood. Where can we put blood? Blood is seven point what? Seven point four, right? If the pH value is outside that range, it causes for serious attention. I thought I should mention that. Well, vinegar. What value are we going to get here? Vinegar is acidic. Vinegar is acidic, but not strong for it to have one, no. So for vinegar, from this list, we are going to pick three. So for vinegar, three there. Then we have C, which says what would be the color of a solution with pH value of 14 when tested with the universal indicator, okay? Now, universal indicator, actually, this is the mixture of indicators. Universal, okay? It comprises of different colors for each pH unit. So it gives a different, gives a different color for each pH unit. That is the universal indicator. Now, this universal indicator, I want you to know the colors that must be well known. Well, let me give you the colors. If it indicates one to two, then the color, of course, this is strong acid, right? The color is red okay one to two red then three to
two four. This will be equal to orange. Three to four is what? Orange. Then five to six. This will give us yellow. Yellow. Please take note of those colors under the universal indicator. Then of course seven, we said it is neutral and it will give you green. Green, like that. Then eight to eleven, we are now under bases, alkaline there. Eight to eleven. This will be blue. Okay? That will give you blue. We have 12 to 14. This will now give you violet. Okay? To give you violet. With these colors in mind, we can move on to the question. What would be the color of a solution with pH value of 14? You see where it's falling, 14. So the color there will be violet. End of the story. I hope you have picked one or two things from this explanation. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.